The recent budget round led by venture capital powerhouse Andreessen Horowitz increased Yuga's valuation to a staggering $4 billion USD. But what Yuga desires to do with all that money could be just as dramatic, reshape the still-forming metaverse room. To recap, Yuga is the company that rose to prominence in late 2021 and early 2022 as NFT mania swept the globe, ultimately resulting in NFT investments from celebrities such as NBA star Steph Curry and pop star Justin Bieber. Like thousands of others, they own Yuga's fingerprint Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs, the most affordable of which is worth approximately more than 300,000 USD. What's already a massive business grew even larger earlier this month when Yuga supervised an airdrop of a unique cryptocurrency token called ApeCoin, which was approved by the decentralized autonomous body. Although technically detached from Yuga, Bored Ape NFT owners received thousands of free ApeCoin and found themselves with an asset worth numerous real-world USD. ApeCoin increased by up to 90% on its second day of trading. Yuga intends to take the organic next step in its sequel by allowing Bored Apes to socialize with one another and where better to do so than in the multiverse. Today's video shows you everything about the Board Ape Yacht Club that possesses higher plans to enter the metaverse. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel to never miss out on more videos like this. Yuga Labs taunted a metaverse platform, otherwise shortly after the release of ApeCoin. There are a few details, but there is no set release date for the venture. Still, Board Ape Yacht Club co-founder Willie Erono, who ends up going by Gordon Goner's pseudonym, told the sources that he envisions a multiplayer role-playing game and a player-run world. According to an unreleased pitch deck that appears to have been created by Yuga and has been circulating in crypto societies on Reddit and Twitter, the business will look to use a prospective metaverse platform to reward its current community. According to the deck, Yuga Labs intends to include 200,000 plots of land, with 30% of the first 100,000 plots going to existing Board Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape Yacht Club holders. According to Ramon Govea, the creator of IP development studio Myth Division and owner of Seven Board Apes, the prospect of free land is already causing a stir in the Board Ape community. When you're aligned with organizations that focus on infrastructure first, possessing virtual real estate is a realistic route for wealth building, Govea told Fortune. Whatever is on the other side, we have the opportunity to define it as ApeCoin holders. Other side, a metaverse platform developed by Yuga Labs will join an increasingly crowded field of metaverse platforms, some of which also include NFTs and cryptocurrencies. The Sandbox and Decentraland have emerged as popular Web3 metaverse platforms. Both incorporate NFTs, which allow users to purchase land and in-game assets such as avatar outfits that technologically belong to them rather than the platform. Each has its cryptocurrency as well. However, Yuga Labs has an edge in the brand names in its portfolio when it comes to creating its metaverse framework. Yuga Labs now controls four of the top NFT collections after acquiring the rights to the CryptoPunks and MeBits NFT collections earlier this month, Board Ape Yacht Club, MeBits, Mutinate Yacht Club, and CryptoPunks. These NFT collections have vibrant communities that could mean the difference between Yuga's metaverse being a bustling metropolis or a ghost town. The Sandbox has partnered with well-known companies such as Adidas, Warner Music Group, and Atari to attract users. In contrast, large corporations such as Samsung and JP Morgan Chase have opened virtual spaces in Decentraland. These companies are all looking for their own multiverse societies, but Yuga already has one built in, or so the theory goes. Nonetheless, Decentraland's designer director Sam Hamilton claims that Yuga Lab's entry into the metaverse space does not pose a threat to his company. We've worked together before, and I love their team. They're really cool people, Hamilton told Fortune. We don't see other metaverses as competition. We're all working together to build the next iteration of the internet, and having BAYC construction can only be good for everyone. Yuga Lab's metaverse will not be restricted to only Board Ape Yacht Club members. It will also allow owners of various NFT projects to introduce themselves within the game. This opens a door to users who do not own, and may not be able to afford, NFTs from Yuga's top collections. Many of the top Board Ape NFTs, for example, have sold for millions of dollars. Though some Board Ape owners may have bought in early when prices were low, the majority are out of reach for the average person. As a result, identifying as an expensive NFT in a metaverse may create an inequitable environment for those who can't afford to spend a fortune on a blue-chip NFT. This is all. What do you think about the incredible Board Ape Yacht Club with higher plans to enter the metaverse? Let us know your views in the comments below. Until the next video, stay tuned and subscribe for more.